pneumococcus is a bacteria that causes meningitis, which is an infection of the brain and spinal cord, pneumonia, which is an infection of the lungs, and bloodstream infections, also known as sepsis. The pneumococcal vaccine was first used for babies in the United States in the year 2000. Before that, pneumococcus caused thousands of severe infections every year in young children. And some families are still coping with the consequences of those infections. Yeah, I can remember we had an earache, and it was sort of a severe earache. Then it was nausea, and he could not keep anything down. Then we were starting to be dehydrated. Then it was Colin hallucinating, and we knew we were in serious trouble. Then the doctors are starting to, at the emergency room, are showing some very serious concern. And we start hearing of, of things that, you know, superficially sound terrible, but we, we don't know anything. It's our first child. We had no idea what meningitis was. They had a confirmation through a spinal tap that Colin had a white cell count of 26, that they could not guarantee us that he was going to live. The doctors are still saying it, it's all probability. You, we are not out of the woods yet. Something could happen. Don't, you know, just be emotionally prepared for it. And it was really towards the end where I thought we were beyond it all. We had been out of the emergency for a bit, and he seemed to be getting a little better. And then he had a terrible headache one night. He was complaining of severe pain outside his ear. And I think that's when he lost the hearing in that ear. So many people say to us, why is this still a tragedy four years later? I th think you should be grateful. And the truth of the matter is, we are incredibly grateful. But Colin is profoundly deaf in the left ear. Once you've lost hearing in one ear, the concentration is very difficult. You can't automatically filter out background noises, it, all noises coming through. So imagine a movie where you really couldn't hear the main characters speak because the traffic and everything else was the same volume. That's his life. So how do we keep pneumococcus from harming our children? The bacteria pneumococcus is covered by a complex sugar. The pneumococcal vaccine is made by taking the sugar coat, stripping it away from the bacteria, and attaching it to a helpful protein. Now children can develop immunity to pneumococcus without ever having to risk infection from the actual bacteria. Just like the pneumococcal vaccine, the next vaccine prevents what was at one time a very common cause of bacterial meningitis.